It was a wonderful day on the 6th of August, 258 AD, when the hosts of heaven were watching patiently to see how Pope Sixtus II, alongside six other deacons, namely Januarius, Vicentius, Manius, Stephanus, Felicissimus, and Agapitus, would witness to their fate with their blood. This was during the reign of Emperor Valerian, who in AD 258 issued an edict that all bishops, priests, and deacons must be put to death. A lovely historical narrative has it that, as Pope Sixtus was led to execution, the deacon Lawrence followed him weeping and exclaimed, Father, where are you going without your deacon? I am not leaving you, my son, answered the Pope. In three days, you will follow me. Full of joy, Lawrence gave to the poor the rest of the money he had on him and even sold expensive vessels to have more to give away. Meanwhile, who was St. Lawrence? As a deacon in Rome, Lawrence was charged with the responsibility for the material goods of the church and the distribution of arms to the poor. The prefect of Rome, a greedy man, thought the church had a great fortune hidden away. So he ordered Lawrence to bring the church's treasures to him. Valerian was delighted when the deacon asked for three days to gather all the gold and silver of the church together in one central place. The saints went through the city and gathered together all the poor, the sick, the handicapped, the widows and orphans that were being supported by the church. When Valerian arrived, the King Lawrence presented him with the true gold and silver of the church. When he showed them to the prefect, he said, This is the church's treasure. The emperor was filled with rage. Beheading was not enough for this Christian deacon. In great anger, the prefect condemned Lawrence to a slow and cruel death. The saint was tied on top of an iron grill over a slow fire that roasted his flesh little by little. But Lawrence was burning with so much love of God that he almost did not feel the flames. In fact, God gave him so much strength and joy that he even joked. Turn me over, he said to the judge. I am cooked on this side. Just before he died, Lawrence said, I am cooked enough now. Then he prayed that the city of Rome might be converted to Jesus and that the Catholic faith might spread all over the world. After that, he went on to receive the matter's reward. St. Lawrence died on the 10th of August, 258, four days after Pope Sixtus II. A special devotion to Lawrence, Deacon and Martha spread throughout the entire Christian community. Early Christians had no doubt that those who had gone to be with the Lord continued to pray for those who still struggled in this earthly life. They saw in Lawrence a great example of how to live and how to die faithful to the gospel. St. Lawrence's feast day is 10th of August, 